So last week we talked a little bit about fitness and we're going to continue that this week. Um, last week I shared a quote that was life changing for me, which is exercise is a celebration of what the body can do, not punishment for what you ate. That was a, a big step for me. The other thing that I learned and I promised to share this week was a, 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 about learning to enjoy the process as opposed to the results, which sounds a little counterproductive, but let me explain. My whole life, like many of you, I was totally into instant gratification, right? So, a little hummingbird outside my window, sorry, distracted, that's me. Um, so my whole life was all about instant gratification. And what that looked like for weight and for fitness was if I wanted an ice cream sundae, and I was trying to be good, and I didn't have the ice cream sundae, I felt deprived, but I didn't feel any thinner. And I, you know, I, I wasn't any thinner. I would get on the scale, I'm like, well, I didn't lose any weight. So this is stupid, right? On the other hand, if I had the ice cream sundae, I had my instant gratification, and I didn't, I wasn't any heavier at that moment. Now, obviously over some period of time, that sort of catches up to you. And that's when I talk uh, about the process, beginning to enjoy learning uh, or enjoy learning the process. So right after my surgery, I was supposed to walk. I had gastric bypass surgery. Right after the surgery, I'm supposed to walk. So my first walk was you know, around the living room and then it was the living room and the kitchen. And then I walked all the way to the mailbox. This is over a couple of days. And then I took my first Run keeper walk where I retracted, and that was the cul de sac behind my house. And it was about a quarter of a mile, and I went at a pace of 32 minutes per mile. I mean, it was just like I was barely padding along. But I tracked everything on Run Keeper, which I highly recommend. It doesn't have to be Run Keeper, but by all means, track your, your daily work. And I began to enjoy the process. And the process was yesterday I walked a quarter of a mile, today I walked a third of a mile. And the next day I still walked a third of a mile, but a little bit faster, right? I didn't go, I didn't try to run it. I, I had just come out of major surgery, but I knew I could walk a little bit faster. And that's what I did. And so I began to enjoy the process. Now, in the beginning, it was kind of easy because I had just had gastric bypass surgery. The, the weight began falling off uh, a pound or two every day uh, for a while. And that lasted for the you know the first few months. I lost my weight much faster than, than most people do because I did all these other things as well. But then it was about staying fit and enjoying the process. And what that means is now my instant gratification comes from the process. So instead of mm, that tasted good, the the gratification from me comes from wow, I'm really doing good things for myself today, right? So I, I'll have an ice cream sundae, uh, probably not an ice cream sundae, but I do have things that aren't good for me uh, health-wise. I still enjoy life. I'm not, I'm not that person that, that, you know, has gone completely crazy. So I, I eat things that aren't good for me. I, I have lazy days where I don't do a whole lot. I mean, all of that stuff, I, I have to struggle to, to make myself exercise. So all of those things are, are still part of it, but the, but, but beginning to enjoy the process. So I'm going to give you a, a baseball analogy because I love baseball. You know, in, in baseball, you, you, you look at major league hitters and they're in a slump and they are working it every day. They're just working it. And the box score might say you went 0 for 4, and you might be, you know, really hitting the ball well, but you went 0 for 4, then 1 for 4, and the next day is 0 for 3, and, and all of a sudden you find yourself in a 2 for 31 slump. But great ball players know that if they keep doing the, the right stuff, taking batting practice every day, you know, focusing on getting their hips in the right position and their arms in the right position, if they work on the process, the hits will come. And sometimes, you know, you, you hit the ball hard and it goes right at somebody. Well, you know, sometimes you went out and you exercised and because of whatever things are going on in your body, you, you didn't lose weight that day or that week. And if, if that's your goal is, is losing weight or, or just maintaining your weight. 
But if you do the process over a long period of time, you're going to have success. So the, the switch that I was able to flip in my mind was going, I still had to do instant gratification. That's just who I am. I'm never that guy that is thinking about 30 years down the road. It was, it's just, I'm, I like today. Like, I don't know what's happened in 30 years from now. I don't know if I'm going to be alive in 30 days, much less 30 years. I want to enjoy today. But I learned to flip the switch to enjoy the process so that every day when I do the right things, I get instant gratification. I feel good about it. And, you know, it's better to feel good than to look good in spite of what Billy Crystal says. So I hope that helps you focus on the process and, and see what your process is going to be. Your process might be, you know, more exercise or, or better diet, but it applies to everything in life, right? If you're marketing and you keep doing the right marketing things, you're not necessarily going to always get a call as soon as you send out some sort of a marketing thing. But if you keep marketing correctly, you'll get your calls. You're not gonna, every time you, you, you play a great dance song, they're not gonna always, you know, run to the dance floor. But if you do the process and you, you mix well and you program well and you do all the things leading up to the dance that you should, the process, if you, if you create energy and excitement when people first walk in the room, if you have a fun, exciting time all throughout dinner and cocktails and all of those things, and then you move into dancing, if you've done the process, you will get the results that you want almost all the time. My minute is almost up. Got to go. See you next week.